Welcome back to Real Takes, where we are all movie love all the time. I'm Ann Stott, and today we are doing a super abbreviated Real Takes because I have a killer summer cold and I'm still in a play. So I sit on the couch all day and then I go do the play and I don't want to talk very much, but cancer filmmakers have been getting short changed here this month and I really want to talk about Jafar Panahi. So, um, so I'm coming in quickly, but first I want to say please support uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center, which tracks extremist hate groups in our country and monitors them and studies them and researches trends. It's very important organization doing a lot of um, great work on these issues and sort of monitoring and bringing light to what these groups are really about and how they operate. So I'll link to them in the description below. And today we're going to celebrate and shine a ton of movie love on Jafar Panahi. So Jafar Panahi is an Iranian filmmaker and he had made several award-winning films when he was banned by the Iranian government from making films for 20 years, from doing international interviews, or from leaving his house. And what he did when that happened was he made a film called This Is Not A Film from inside his house about the film he wanted to make that he couldn't make, um, interspersed with sort of everything that was going on around his case, calls to his lawyer, etc. And he made a film called Closed Curtain, and then he made a film called Taxi, where he poses a, as a cab driver driving around Tehran with three um, very small cameras in his car that were undetectable from outside and um, has conversations with various passengers who come in and out of the cab. Now, originally, his idea was to literally film... Um, you know, random actual passengers and sort of get their takes on things, but he became concerned for their privacy. So it is a sort of loosely scripted uh, experience with anonymous actors, but there are no credits. And it's, it's a truly beautiful testament to the power of his creativity and his courage and his determination to make film and to talk about his country and um, what's going on there. And apparently, you know, many people have suggested that he try to leave Iran, but he has said, um, you know, he's Iranian and he's a filmmaker. And so he's staying in Iran and he's making film. And in the background right now, we can hear Meatball's determination to have lunch. Um, so, you know, make films, have lunch. Anyway, Taxi is a gorgeous, testament to, like I said, creativity and determination. It's profoundly moving. Um, this is not a film. It's deeply moving. Please watch and support Jafar Panahi's work. And I will leave you with this quote, which is better than anything else I could have said about it. So Panahi has said, nothing can prevent me from making films. Since when being pushed to the ultimate corners, I connect with my inner self. And in such private spaces, despite all limitations, the necessity to create becomes even more of an urge. What more do you need? We celebrate you, Jafar Panahi. It's his birthday this week. Um, taxi. Uh, thank you, Meatball. Um, so Taxi. This is not a film from before when he was banned offside. The Mirrors, uh, please watch his movies and I will see you next Wednesday when hopefully I will be well again and we will be back in full swing.